Would you like to know the best way of customizing your Android? Would you like to know which are the top widgets to use and which are the most user friendly? Want to change that boring old lock screen or home screen into something made of wonder? Well then, my name is Marco and welcome to the My Color Screen YouTube channel. Now I know a lot of you viewers on the channel are wanting more and more lock screen tutorials so I decided to make my own lock screen and share exactly how I created it. The lock screen is titled Puck and it's based on the Puck game that you can find on the Google Play Store. It's really really fun and addictive and that cool orange effect I thought would make a perfect lock screen as you can use the swipe down to unlock as well as the top area of the screen can be used for your battery level as well as your time and the little icon, the music icon at the top can be used to switch sound profiles. So let us begin with today's lock screen video tutorial. Great, so hopefully you have watched the widget locker complete guide. I posted it a few days ago and it's really helpful if you haven't used widget locker before and you'd just like to know exactly what to use and how to customize it effectively. So if you've already installed it, you just want to go into it and make sure that you've dragged all the widgets into the bin below or just remove them so that there's no widgets or apps showing. Once that's done, you want to select the little settings up here. You want to go into look and feel and then you want to select alternative wallpaper as you want to get that awesome looking orange wallpaper. From here, you want to go select wallpaper and then find where you've copied it onto your phone. Either you can use your gallery or wherever. And once you've got it onto, your, onto the phone, you just want to resize it so that it takes up the entire screen. If not, you might have to do some resizing, but don't worry, it should work for your phone if you've got a Nexus 4. If not, I've provided one for your phone. You might just have to do some resizing using the photo editor app to adjust it to your phone's resolution. Once you've got it the way you like it, you want to click save. It'll set the wallpaper. You can just double check it, just go back. There it is, set like that. Next, you want to go back into your settings. From now, you're going to be changing the layout. So you want to go into your layout. Make sure that you've dragged this anchor all the way to the bottom of that phone. And then I just made it quite a large grid size. I went for a 9 by 7 It's not too large, but if you're struggling to fit your widgets correctly, this would be the first place to go is just to make either your rows or columns bigger or smaller and then go save. Next, what you'll want to do is go into background tints now you can either make it darker or brighter. I just what you want to do is make it brighter as the screenshot that I used for the little slider is on was on its max brightness. So yeah, you're gonna make it full brightness. So make sure that it's all the way to the to the left here and you want to go back. And then finally you want to enable hide notification bar. That gets just that just hides this top bar here as you want to get that full orange effect from the puck lock screen. So once you've done that, you want to go back now. So from here, I just went back and you want to get to this main screen of your lock screen. So now we're going to be adding in our custom slider and our UCCW widgets. Great, so for UCCW widgets, you just want to hold down on the home screen, select widgets. You want to go to UCCW, doesn't really matter what size you choose, as, as always, you can just resize it. And you want to go open use zip and find where you have copied this use zip onto your phone. You're just going to select it and then tap the hand and there it should be imported like that. You just want to hold down on the widget now and resize it just to get it in place. If you don't like it the way it is, you're welcome to open up or tap it to open up the editor. And then selecting this button here or the background is your select object menu and say selecting time and you go position. You can move it around like that or selecting the battery level and selecting position will let you rearrange it like that. So if you're still stuck with UCCW, we've got our UCCW tutorials on this channel. So you might want to go check those out as well. Great. So once you've got your UCCW skin the way you want it, you just want to go into your menu and you want to select lock widgets on. That'll turn on your hotspots. But because there is no hotspots, it's just going to basically prevent you from opening up the editor in case it's in your pocket and you don't want to bump it. Great. So next we're going to be making this music button actually worth its while. And that can be achieved by using widget Soid in order to change your sound profiles. I just thought that it might be a cool idea and it comes in quite handy when you have a lock screen. So I'm just gonna be opening up Widget Soid. I opened up Add Widget and you wanna to go to Widget Soid Switcher. From here, you wanna go Add New Toggle. You just select this top menu here to make your life easier as you wanna go into Sound. Now from here, you wanna select Ring Mode and select the tick. Next, you want to go into your theme and then select hide icons. Your choose background, you want it to be none. And that's pretty much it. You're just going to select apply now. It's going to be a little underlining there. Try to get it into the corner. Remember, if that doesn't look 100%, you're welcome to change your grid size, change your rows and columns to get a best fit. 
so that 9 by 7 worked well for me so you just want to test it out and then by simply tapping the music icon as you can see it's on general now or on normal and then tapping again will change to vibrate and then silence pretty easy to do great so that is our widget saw it setup we got our uccw setup finally we're going to be adding in our custom slider so you're going to be holding down on the home screen selecting custom slider now this one obviously isn't available straight off the bat so you want to select get themes which will open up your tesla coil website and enabling you to download different themes now i know this is going to sound weird but you want to select invisible tabs and then download that one once it's downloaded you want to scroll down select what you've downloaded and as you can see it doesn't look really special so all i did here was change these two icons i want to make this one my slider as it's going to become vertical so with this one over here this lock one you just scroll across to enable the edit settings and i want that to be disabled and it disappeared now for this sound one i want that to be the unlock button so i'm going to slide that one across you want to go widget locker actions and then unlock so now when you slide it across it's going to unlock your phone but we want to be wanting it to slide down so finally you just want to change the icon you don't want this green unlock button so you want to go into your gallery and find we've copied this little puck slider so you just want to select it make sure that it's quite in the middle and you just want to select the tick now and there is our little slider you just want to select done now and what you want to do is hold in more or less the middle over here and now select resize see having a quite a large grid size helps with this move it down one tap away and there is our slider and there we have our slider lock screen as you can see it looks pretty cool when you slide it up and down it's even got a little green point there to show you where to slide it and sliding it unlocks your phone just like that just to double check we're going to lock the phone unlock it there is our lock screen boom unlocks your phone really really cool so there we have our lock screen complete i definitely want to see more lock screens from you guys on my color screen as it is a really cool thing to have so thank you very much guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe to the my color screen channel if you haven't already and also check out our google plus twitter and facebook communities our lock screen competition is also heating up so if you don't know what i'm talking about check the link below so this is marco from my color screen thank you very much guys for watching and most of all don't stop customizing mm -hmm.